We want to factor this problem completely, which means first to factor out the greatest common factor. The coefficient in common is a 3, and the variable in common is a y. So dividing 3y out of the first term, we're left with 4x squared. If we divide 3 out of the second, we get minus 9, and x, and then we divide the y out. And then if we divide 6y by 3y, we're left with 2. So now we look at the trinomial that we're left with, the three terms, and we want to see if that can break down any further. So we've got our 3y. We break down our two parentheses. We might try 2x and 2x. And then we know both signs are the same, so they must both be negative. So we might try this with 2 and 1 for the factors of 2. Well, this gives us negative 4 and negative 2. That doesn't work. And so that means that the 2 with the 2 in the first basis is not the correct choice. So other factors would be a 4 and a 1. If we try that, we get negative 4 and negative 2. That won't work either. But if we switch the 2 with the 1 in the last basis, we get a negative 1x and a negative 8x, which is negative 9x. So that means that 3y times 4x minus 1 times 1x minus 2 are the correct factors. They can't be broken down any further. Um, and so therefore, that would be our completely factored form.